Hey everyone, so this is Addicted to Nature here. I've got this exciting new project I wanted to show you guys. This is going to be part two of my how to ro uh, root rose bouquets uh, into, into rose bushes. How exciting would that be you know, to have something like a Valentine's Day bouquet or a wedding bouquet just so you can have it in your yard for years and years to come giving you amazing, beautiful roses. All right, so let, let, let me talk a little bit about the specifics because I'm sure you guys are all wondering how I've been keeping these. This is about day 12 in my uh, uh, since I've stuck these in the, in the soil. And as you can see, I usually keep them in these plastic bags. If you take a closer look at the inside of the bags, you can see a lot of condensation. That's all from the leaves. I didn't go in and like heat the water or whatever. So, so that, that's good because it means the, the leaves are, are breathing and transpiring. Uh, you can see some new growth on the inside. But this bag is just from one of the Petco fish uh, uh, bags that you take the fish home in. And I've got a little bit more in the back here. As you can see, some of these leaves are rather yellow, but that's totally okay. As long as they're growing new leaves, that means that the cuttings are still alive, okay? And then some of the uh, specifics, like I said, um, just because they're growing these new leaves, although they're really, really beautiful and it's really exciting, it doesn't mean that they've rooted yet. So I don't want you guys to start transplanting these once you see these roots or once you see these growth. So usually they grow out the top a little bit first before they actually send out the roots. So if, you, if I were to take a look and the way you check to see whether they have roots, see if you take one of these and you start moving them up and down. And if you see that they're moving with your finger like this, that means that you don't have the roots yet. So you wanna keep these in the soil, don't touch them. Do it once a, once a week, you know, test once a week, but don't do more than that. Because this is actually rather traumatic. If you have little roots going in, the new roots, if you pull like that, then that means you're gonna break all the roots, right? So don't do that too much. This is just an example. So if you take one of these thicker ones, actually, uh, you can see that moving them doesn't do anything, right? Doesn't really do anything. So that might mean one of two things. Either they have roots, or you see some of these like, these kind of like out, these kind of like uh, 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 stubs that grow out, it might mean that the stubs are what's actually keeping them in place. So we don't know for sure yet. All right, so remember this is about uh, uh, the second week in and, and, and you can't see any roots on the inside of these clear cups. The great thing about these clear cups is you can see exactly when the roots start growing. <laughs> Look at this little clover. That's nothing, that's not from the roses, it's probably just a weed. But, so so people say like, oh, you don't wanna use clear cups, but I found that they still grow. So the great thing about these clear cups is I can see when the roots are coming in. People say, don't use the clear cups. Oops, sorry about my finger. Uh, people say, don't use the clear cups because the roots don't like them. I've never had that problem before. Another thing that people like to say uh, in these videos is they say, Okay, don't use the, the cuttings that don't have leaves because they don't have enough uh, uh, nutrients in them. But look at what this one is doing. I did not have leaves for this one, but look at how it's growing its own leaves now. So here's another example I have down here. Uh, see this one? This one did not have any leaves when I first planted these, and it's doing just fine, right? So, so if you're not sure, whether or not it'll root, you might as well do it, right? You've got nothing to lose. And let me show you exactly, look at all this new growth, right? Remember, new growth does not mean that it's rooted. New growth just means that your cutting is alive as of now. And, and originally, this is what it looked like. So see how the, the nodes here don't have anything growing on them, it's just a green dot, right? That's what it originally looked like, okay. So, the soil in here, I wanna talk a little bit about the soil. No fertilizer, do not use fertilizer when you're trying to root these. No fertilizer, just straight up soil. And if you had fertilizer in your soil, it's a good idea to, to put some water, let it sit, uh, run through, put a little bit more water and let it run through, drain it a couple times because if you have too much fertilizer in there, you're gonna burn the plants and your cuttings aren't going to survive. The only time you fertilize is after it starts to have a lot of roots because then that's when your root, your, when your cutting, cutting can take up actually all of the nutrients, all right? So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna put the bags back on and, 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 and then I'll 
I'll just keep them for another two weeks or so before I come out with another um, update. So thank you guys all for watching. If you haven't seen the first part, go ahead and watch it right now. Um, and uh, thank you guys all. If you have any questions in the comments below, just be sure to list them. And I can't wait to guys to show you guys when I transplant these.